Hey Archer Nurses, last week we talked all about musculoskeletal and you told us you needed more help with assistive devices. So let's get to it. You have a client with left-sided weakness, they're ambulating with a cane. Which of the following actions should we take? Select all that apply. Pause your video here and use those test-taking strategies to jot down the correct answer. A, B, D, and E are all correct. Now, if you've watched our videos before, you know that I say there are no select all that apply on the NCLEX, only a whole bunch of true or false questions. Let's go through this and use that strategy. True or false, should we place a gate belt around the client's waist? True, absolutely. This is gonna give us a way to support them as we assist with their ambulation. And B, true, we should stand on their left side. That's where they're weak and that's where we want to offer support. C, instruct them to put the cane in the left side, however, is incorrect. Canes go on the opposite side, the stronger side, the unaffected side. So this client needs to place it in their right hand. D, true or false, should we measure that cane from the crease of their wrist? True, that is the appropriate point for measurement to get the right size cane. E, true or false, should we put the cane in the right hand? All right, we have a test taking strategy here. Instruct the client to put the cane in the left hand is C, and then E says put it in the right hand. Those are opposites. And remember, opposites can't attract. They cannot both be true. We have to only pick one. And E is correct. We want that cane on the stronger, unaffected side. Lastly, F, true or false, do we instruct the client to look down while they're ambulating? False, that's gonna increase their risk of tripping. We want them to look ahead. Great work, Archer Nurses. Follow along with us all week for more help on your assistive devices and head over to archerreview.com to sign up for the SurePass program if you haven't already.